Well, hey guys, this week is all things eye. In today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing CeraVe's newer skin renewing eye cream. Before I do that, give this video a thumbs up if you like hearing about skincare products from a board certified dermatologist. And if you weren't aware, this week I am reviewing a lot of eye creams and eye serums that are really popular. Um, I've been getting a lot of requests to review. So make sure you're subscribed and you have your bell notifications on. That way you know when these videos go live so you don't miss out on any of these product reviews. Now, as a disclaimer, I'm a huge advocate of keeping your skincare routine simple, not using a lot of products, and I have always promoted that you do not need a separate eye cream. The moisturizer you use on your face should be more than adequate to use around the eyes. Of course, many people like having a separate eye cream. They enjoy the experience of it, but specifically the products I'm going to be reviewing or have been reviewing in this week, the eye serums, creams, whatever you want to call them, they have ingredients in them that address specific things um, that I think people are interested in, whether it be fine lines and wrinkles around the eyes, whether it be dark spots, dark under eye circles. So they do more than just address dry skin around the eyelids. Uh, they have actual active ingredients that are claiming to address certain issues. Plus, I review skincare products on this channel in addition to dedicated videos on different skin issues and skin concerns and, of course, sunscreen. So, you know, we're keeping it lively. Anyways, all that... All that yammering aside, CeraVe, you know, I have a bias with CeraVe, just get that out there. I love CeraVe products, I love them, and I am a CeraVe stan, um, and I have been long before I was ever on YouTube, and I really, really like their products. So I tend to be CeraVe positive, and it's not gonna change, spoiler alert, with this product, even though it's an eye cream, and it's something that I don't typically use in my skincare routine, I really like this product. I thought it was very good. Okay, what are the ingredients in this product? First of all, caffeine. Caffeine is an antioxidant. It's popular in a lot of skincare products especially products for around the eyes. Thought to potentially improve the look of dark under eye circles, although I've gotta tell you, when it comes to dark under eye circles, products don't really do that much. Why? Dark under eye circles largely are due to your anatomy, whether that be genetic, that's just the way that, you know, the, the, the anatomy of your skull around your eyeball is, or age-related changes. Uh, so, you know, the, the shape of your eye socket, and with age, we lose volume in the face, we get descent of the cheek, and so that makes shadows more obvious under the eyes, that, that hollow under the eyes. Now, there are a variety of cosmetic procedures that can address that if it really, really bothers you. Check out my video on sunken eyes. I go over those types of procedures in that video. Eye creams don't really address that. However, eye creams can improve the look of fine lines and wrinkles just by hydrating the skin. Caffeine and eye creams may actually help uh, reduce uh, the formation of hyperpigmentation because it's an antioxidant. And caffeine has been shown to have pretty good penetration into the skin. Therefore, it may help in temporarily constricting the blood vessels, helping to uh, remove excess fluid from under the skin that exacerbates the appearance of dark circles or, or that leads to a, the accumulation of inflammatory mediators that break down and lead to hyperpigmentation. In addition to caffeine, this has niacinamide. Now niacinamide is another antioxidant. I really like it. It's a great multifunctional ingredient. However, many people have commented over the years in my videos that they do not tolerate it. So for those of you, this would not be the product for you. It does have niacinamide. As a reminder, niacinamide is helpful for hyperpigmentation. It's also helpful for the health of your moisture barrier. And when your moisture barrier of the skin is at its top notch work itself, well then it's better at keeping irritating things out and hydration in. Ultimately, that's gonna make the skin around your eyes just look better. And it's gonna make fine lines look less noticeable. It's gonna smooth them out just by hydration, space filling, and better barrier function. Niacinamide is also anti-inflammatory and helpful for reducing redness and not necessarily related to eyelids, but it is helpful for acne as well. So it's got niacinamide and it's CeraVe, so you know what that means. It has the three essential ceramides, which applied to the skin may also help support better barrier function, especially in those who have eczema, otherwise known as atopic dermatitis. Uh, where ceramides can be deficient, or ceramide levels actually do decline with age. That's why part of the reason why we're more 
prone to dry skin, including drier skin around the eyes. Um, so it has uh, ceramides. And what um, this product has, it's got uh, two peptides, palmitoyl tetrapeptide 7 and palmitoyl tripeptide 1. Now, these two peptides, they are, you know, if you're familiar with Matrixyl 3000, that's what these two peptides are. One of them is thought to reduce uh, something called interleukin-6, an inflammatory mediator. So ultimately that's going to be you know, basically anti-inflammatory. And the other one is a collagen fragment. It's thought that by applying it to the skin, it may get into the skin and stimulate collagen repair and healing pathways. And together these two work together and are thought to have a wrinkle smoothing effect and improve the um, health of the collagen, improve removal of damaged collagen and repair, as well as production of new collagen. Now, when it comes to peptides, you have to take this with a grain of salt. Majority of this is coming from industry studies, not peer reviewed. Um, whether or not they get into the skin and do these things, who knows? But as I always point out, peptides and skincare products, they are humectants, meaning they help to improve the moisture content of the top layers of the skin. Ultimately, when the moisture content is improved, well, then the skin is more hydrated, fine lines and wrinkles appear smoother, and the natural epidermal cell turnover is much better, working much better. You don't have heaped up dry, rough textural skin issues going on. So long story short, uh, peptides in skincare can help with hydration, as can hyaluronic acid, which this likewise has. Now, hyaluronic acid enhances penetration of other ingredients, which can be a good thing or it can be a bad thing, uh, meaning you know, if you're sensitive to certain ingredients, they're going to be more irritating in the presence of hyaluronic acid, likely. Some people don't tolerate hyaluronic acid, so if that's you, this would not be a product for you. This also has glycerin, another humectant in it, which can help with improving the moisture content at the top layers of the skin. Ultimately, you may be wondering, how does this differ from the eye repair cream by CeraVe? So CeraVe's eye repair cream, I tried in the past, and it is a moisturizer for the eyelids. It has ceramides, it has niacinamide, it has sodium hyaluronate, but it does not have caffeine, nor does it have the two peptides. So this newer eye cream, it has some ingredients in it that may target uh, hyperpigmentation, sunspots a little better, may reduce oxidative stress in the skin a little bit better, and may help to potentially address collagen loss in the skin, although that's coming from the peptides, so there's that. Overall, I have to say, I like I said, I tried the eye repair cream in the past, and I did not care for that product per se. I mean, it wasn't bad, but I just found like, it was a little almost stringy in the texture. I didn't care for it. And I found that it kind of didn't stay in place so well. Whereas this product, I actually really like. Like I would repurchase this and continue to use it. Um, I actually like it that much. It is very hydrating. It's not greasy. It has a nice lightweight texture, but it's moisturizing. And I do appreciate an improvement in the look of fine lines when using this, uh, which I attribute to space filling through better hydration. And it's pretty affordable. I mean, $14.24, that's expensive for half an ounce of product, but in the scheme of eye cream products I've been trying out uh, over the past, I don't know, five months or so leading up to this week of eyes, um, this is actually very affordable. And one thing I wanna point out when it comes to eye products, you do not need a lot. You only need the equivalent of a rice grain worth of product to adequately cover the eyelid, the upper and lower eyelid. So don't, don't, don't be squeezing out a big glob. You don't need like a pea-sized amount. No, that's too much. Just a tiny little rice grain is more than adequate. So this should last a long time. But I actually do think that this product is better than their than their eye repair cream. I think you get a little bit more in terms of ingredients. I think it performs better on the skin. I see a bene, you know, a true improvement with this product as opposed to the other one it was just like no different than putting on a, you know, a plain moisturizer. Let me know in the comments though if you use CeraVe's eye repair cream because whenever I point it out in like drugstore videos, I do get comments from, from you guys that you love it, you use it all the time. Uh, let me know if that's a product that you use. Have you tried out the new skin renewing one? Because I really do think it is. I do think it is just a little bit something extra. And it's only, it's only like $2 more than the 
than the eye repair cream, which I, I don't think is too bad. How do you use this product? You're gonna wanna apply it to the skin after cleansing, ideally while the skin is still a little bit damp. That way you really capitalize maximally on the humectants in this and it helps to enhance penetration of the active ingredients. You can use it morning and or evening. I found myself using it twice a day. And as a side note, if you use it in the morning, uh, you can put sunscreen on over it. Eye makeup goes on over it with no issue. When using this in the morning, definitely make sure you put sunscreen on over it. And as a side note, I had no issue with sunscreen pilling over this, which I really like. Likewise, I was able to put eyeshadow on over this plus sunscreen, no problems whatsoever. In fact, eyeshadow went on really well because I mean, that's the basis of an eyeshadow primer right there is basically just moisturizing. I know some primer products have a little bit of tackiness to them that helps with the product sticking on, but I don't know. To me, the moisturizing piece is key. Free of fragrance. So as a reminder, if you missed my review earlier this week on Isden's Vitamin K cream, you'll recall that product had many of the same ingredients as this, but in contrast to this, had a fragrance which gave me a headache, made it unusable for me, and was $97, whereas this is $14.24. This is another reason why, honestly, I'm always happy with CeraVe products, is that they've got good ingredients, they have good formulations, but the price point is a lot better than the more high-end stuff, including in the case of this. So if you're somebody who loves eye creams, you like using them, definitely check this one out. Again, as a reminder, this product is unique in comparison to anything else in their renewing line and that it does have caffeine. So if you're looking for caffeine in your eye cream product, check this one out. I do think it's very good. Anyways, you guys, on the end slide, I'm going to put my Isden Vitamin K review. If you missed that, check it out. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.